Hey guys, welcome back to the Sonic Lost World Let's Play! Uh, we just finished Frozen Factory, the, uh, questionable zone, and now we're gonna go straight into Silent Forest! Which actually some has some of my favorite stages. Or, some of my favorite music, rather. All of Silent Forest music. Actually, this music is really good. I got the soundtrack, and it's so fucking good looking and delicious, and I'm just gonna stick my dick in the scene. Eggman taught us how to, taught us how to make robots! We'll make the hedgehog. Damn, he he catches on quick. I mean, it Egg, took Eggman a couple games before he was like, Wait! Let's make Sonic a robot. That'd be awesome. You're too slow! So yeah, this is basically where since Zavik and the others ha still have all of Eggman's shit, they can do whatever they want. They can turn anything into a robot. Oh my god, this game is so big. I haven't played a Lost World on TV a while because I've, I've, I'm, I'm fucking, uh, lazy. But yeah, it's been a while since I played Let- Shit, I still cannot make that jump. Oh my god, I'm so good. Again, once you get a use of the parkour, this game is so fantastic, but it's gonna take a while to get used to. I have to admit that. Alright, do not fucking miss the cannon. I've missed the cannon before, jumped into the, uh, uh, the muck, and I've died. And, it's, and it was very embarrassing, and I didn't like it. Anyway. So yeah, Silent Forest. Silent Forest was pretty interesting when it was uh, first revealed. Uh, it was actually one of the later stages that was revealed. Uh, actually, no. It was actually one of the earlier stages, uh, past Windy Hill. Uh, this stage was, uh, one of the ones that was demoed alongside, uh, Desert Ruins 2, Desert Ruins 3? Yeah, the sweet place, and then, of course, Windy Hill 1. Uh, actually, no, it was Windy Hill 1, Windy Hill 2, Desert Ruins 2? I can't remember, but again, this was the first level scene out of Silent Forest, and it's pretty good looking. I do like this place, uh, especially the subtle lighting in it. I really like it. Yeah, this game really took advantage of a lot of uh, the Wii U's capabilities, and I really like how this uh, how this uh, place turned out. It's really good looking. I love it. Ow, shit! I just lost my rings. It's just me. fucking Sonic. Sonic. Is it just me, or uh, do the rings look less golden? They look more like donuts than rings. I, I don't know how to explain it. Ego! Oh yeah! Here's the one thing that I forgot to mention right off the bat. I can't believe I forgot about it. Well, since the wisps are forgettable anyway. This game was actually patched recently. Uh, so guys, if you had a problem with, uh, uh, with the, uh, the boop -a boop If you had a problem with, uh, the wisps being uncontrollable with the gyroscope, good news. They patched it, and now you can control every wisp except the rhythm wisp with the control sticks. I am so goddamn happy about that because I was, I was starting to really get annoyed with the uh, with the gyroscope. Also, another good thing, now uh, beforehand 100 rings did not let you get an extra life, but now it does. A lot of people are saying too little too late, but I still think it's a worthy addition. I think it's a good patch. It was actually funny because when I heard about the patch, I was just like, "Oh yeah, we do live in a patch with uh, we do live in an age with patches." And it was just weird to think because, you know, we didn't get any DLC for generations, so... <laughs> so I was just sitting there thinking, we're gonna, uh, it's, it's end of story, that's how, that's just how it is. Uh, but I didn't think they were gonna fix anything for this game. And I was really surprised, and I'm actually gonna have to rewrite a couple stuff in my review. Uh, the funny thing about the, my review is that I'm using, uh, I'm gonna explain a couple things. Uh, I'm using Cyberlink Power Director uh, 11 Ultimate Suite as my new video editor. Problem is, it's gonna take a bit of a while to get used to because that uh, for the most part I've been using it as a rendering powerhouse and that's it uh, but ever since a certain situation involving my commentary team where I had to force myself to learn some of the basics uh, of uh, uh, image manipulation uh, I'm starting to feel a little more comfortable with it so I'm gonna start working on my review a little bit but uh, first of all uh, college <laughs> anyway so let's get back to Silent Force. Silent Force oh my god I love Absolutely love Silent Forest. Uh, 
this is this is actually oh, fuck. I missed a red ring. Anyway, this is actually one of the reasons that I disagree with a lot of people who have thoughts about this game. Uh, for the most part, a lot of people are thinking this game. The first half is really good, and then it goes down just straight downhill from there. I really disagree with that because uh, here's what I think about Lost World. With Lost World, the first three uh, zones, all oh wait, first of all, cutscene. Let's talk about this. Something's, Something's not right. Must have missed this one. Don't do it. Don't do it. There's no animals in there, you idiot. No, don't do it. Oh, yep. There he goes. There he goes! Tails was just captured. Great. Yep. And Eggman treats like he's dead. Let's make sure his sacrifice isn't for nothing. This, this scene was way too short. It was just like... Ah, uh, something's not right. Ah, uh, Tails got captured. Eh, I'm supposed to be the fastest. <laughs> it was, it, that was like 45 seconds. Guys, you need to stretch it out a little bit more. I don't mind long, longer cutscenes. I don't. I really don't. Oh, God. Here we go. All right. <laughs> See, here's the thing. Uh, with Lost World, a lot of people say that the first half is really good. Then the second half starts to go downhill. But actually, what I think is the first half always has levels that I all like. And then second half, the zones also have levels that I like, but they're not completely chock full of levels that I like. It's not a perfect game, but it's really fun. Dude, back off from Edward Elric. I I've been listening to uh, I've been listening to the Lost World soundtrack like it's a hymnal from the Bible from the fucking church. So every single tune is just like I recognize that. And here comes the, one of the funniest fucking soundtrack, one of the funniest musics ever. What the fuck? It sounds like music from old country. <laughs> God, this music is just, uh, this music is actually called Midnight Owl. Uh, so if you guys are curious, uh, just to let you know. Oh my god, this this music. I really like this music. Actually, uh, a lot of people said it reminds them of uh, uh, Professor Layton, and I agree with that. Uh, I need to play some Professor Layton. God, I haven't played that in a while. But yeah, I really like, especially uh, the second half of this music. It's really good. I really like it. God, I... Uh, I know this is gonna sound a bit bitchy and I shouldn't talk about it, but ow shit. Uh a lot of people have been saying well pfft, fuck. <laughs> a lot of people have been saying that the uh the parkour in this game is not controllable, and I don't know what it is. But uh after the third level of this game, I got it down. Everything was good. After that, I just nailed it. I guess it's just one of those things that some people get it the first time, some people don't. But I, I don't get it. I had a lot of fun with this. So, this is one thing. I will say that, uh... That, uh... This game gets better with, uh... The more you play. The more you play, the more you'll get used to it, and it'll be more fun. Anyway, so this is the Rhythm Wisp. This is probably the most useless Wisp in the game. Besides Black Bomb. But, uh, we don't talk about Black Bomb! Oh god, that was close. Please! <laughs> God, I love this music. I really do love this music. It's just one of those things where it's just like, oh my god. This game is not an exception to the Sonic rule of no matter how bad the game is, the music is awesome. Especially the cutscene music. That cutscene music, I swear to god. You don't really hear the cutscene music that much, uh, but once you listen to it on the soundtrack, it just becomes... Uh, <laughs> Stop it. Oh shit, alright, here's how to get one of the red rings. You gotta be real careful about this. Let him hop. Hop! Ah oh, shit, hang on, let him come back up. If he can. There we go! One of the red rings is up here. It's actually, it, it, it's, uh, it's pretty hard to find. Uh, it took me a while to find it, uh, my first try. I was just looking all over the place. Where the fuck is that thing? Oh. <coughs> yeah, I got all the red rings. Kiku! I love Zor. Zor is the Zeddy that we just saw. Uh, oh my god, Zor's hilarious. A lot of the Zeddy, a lot of the Deadly Six have great lines, and I really like it. 
yeah, they're they're one dimensional. A lot of people said they're one dimensional, and I do agree with that. But it, it's just one of those things where it's just like I don't care that they're one dimensional because they're pretty fucking funny. Uh, rings. All right, here comes the quote unquote stealth section that people have been bitching about. It's not really stealth. It's more of walk behind a bush while the spotlights are on you. That's all there is to it. I love this part of the music. It's great. I fucking love it. It's fantastic. Na 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 na. Ah, shit. I've been. I was. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> all right. You gotta be real careful. You can be a little bit ballsy with these jumps, but uh, just gotta be a little bit careful. God, I love this music. You don't really, really even think about. Really? 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 Fucking really? This is the place where I die? I get all the red rings in the goddamn game, and this is how I die? <laughs> Super peel it. Uh, fuck you, I do what I want. Damn. That's some shit. Alright, let's try this again. There we go. Unfortunately, I lost my stylus, so if I die a couple times here, then that's the reason. Uh, get the rhythm wisp. Uh, I do not like this wisp. I don't. First of all, because it demands gamepad integration. So, actually, might as well. Keep popping in place, it will just keep getting rings, so that's nice. Alright, gotta wait for this guy. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, no! Oh god! That part is always hard to do. Alright, let's go a little bit forward. Huh? Huh? Oh my god, I'm so good. Hit the checkpoint! Make sure you hit that checkpoint, otherwise, you will go all the way back, and that's annoying. Na 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 God, I can't keep, I can't fucking stop talking about this beautiful music. I love it. I absolutely love it. Ha! Ha! Nailed it. Alright, let's keep behind here. You gotta be real careful about certain stuff. This actually kind of looks like a Sylvania uh, uh, castle zone. Eh, yeah, whatever. Alrighty, so we made it to the boss! And this is, uh, we're gonna be fighting Zor and his mechanical owl. Why the fuck does he have a mechanical owl? It seems like all the, uh, all the Zeti have their own special, uh, special robot that they do, that they have. Like, uh... Like, uh, uh, the Zaz had his giant sun thing, Zamam had his, uh, uh, Tetris blockhead, Andros, uh, da 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 uh. Yeah, I think, uh, Zeke had his, uh, fucking fruit. Oh my god, two for one. And he, it, it didn't work. I hate that part where it's just like, oh, I hit two and then it didn't count. Whatever. A boink. It's actually the only boss you can't uh, uh, spam the uh, charge homing attack, which is weird, because it's just like, what? I have to do this like legit? Get over here! Fuck it. All right. Boink. Come on! Come on! Hit the goddamn thing! Da 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 da. Oh, he's already down! Come here! Boom! Nailed it. I'm so good. <laughs> We're all doomed anyway. That's not nice, Zor. You should have more uh, 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 attributes about your good health of life. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alrighty! So we just finished the second zone. Hopefully we have enough animals. Please tell me we have enough. Oh, God, I'm going to need 3,000. Jesus. Alright. Actually, if that's the case, might as well collect them now. All right, what is this circus? Circus! Da 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 da. Oh hey, it's Cubot back there. What's going on? Oh, not for fire Cubot? Jesus. All right, uh, boosh, boosh. Oh, I can fire two for one. Cubot, did I catch him? 
Ah, oh, shit. I should have done that. 178. That is not a good count. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Actually, might as well do the... Also, with the patch, uh, there are now items that appear uh, on the uh, on the world map, which is interesting. Alrighty, guys. Uh, this one is going to be interesting. Because... The is there a cutscene? Oh, uh, cutscene. Let's <laughs> tell you it's fucking... Oh, Xena! It's funny because because only half of these characters are named. There's Zeke, Zaz, and uh, Zamam. Those are the only ones that are named. I don't think I don't think anyone ever uh, says Zavik or Xena or Zor. Somebody messed up royally because we don't have Sonic. We know. <laughs> I love that little salute there. 